This is how you can make a shutdown command for your discord.js version 14 bot, so let's go ahead and get started. Before I show you how to do this, I would like to say that if you'd like to get these source code from this video and other videos on my channel, you can go ahead and do so by joining a channel membership or a subscription over on Discord. On YouTube, if you get the super god or custom bot tier, you will get access to that source code, and over on Discord, if you get the god or custom bot tier, you will also get access to that source code, and of course, on both platforms, if you get the custom bot tier, you will get access to a custom coded bot by me and my staff team. If any of this is of interest to you, go ahead and click the links in the description below to get started with this, and let's go ahead and get into the video. So to start, we can go over to moderation, and we're going to go ahead and create shutdown.js. And here we can get our slash command builder, and we can get our embed builder, then we can do equals require, and we're going to get our discord.js package. And then we can do module.exports, we can do equals, we'll go ahead and open this up. We're going to say data, and that is going to be new slash command builder. We can go ahead and set a name, and this is going to be shutdown. Then we can go ahead and set a description, and we can say shut down your discord bot we can add a comma we're going to do async execute we can get our interaction and then we can go in and open this up the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to say if and we're going to say interaction.user.id is not equal to and so over on discord we can actually go ahead and get my user id so we can right click and copy our user id we can go in here and we're going to actually paste that in here so we're going to go ahead and get the owner user id so the owner of the bot aka you or a developer you're going to go ahead and put that user id in here that way nobody else except for you or the developer can run this command and we can just return we're going to say else and we can go ahead and open this up and here we're going to do cost we're going to get embed and we can do new embed builder and we can go ahead and set a color and this is going to be blue and then we can go ahead and set a description and i'm going to go ahead and open up some emojis here and i'm just going to go ahead and get a hammer emoji kind of like a discord staff emoji and we can say your bot has been shut down now we can do a wait interaction dot apply and we can go ahead and say content and in here i'm just going to go ahead and get a loading emoji and i can say shutting down your bot and we can go ahead and make this informal so informal and we're gonna make that true and the reason why we're doing this is this is basically just gonna make it a little bit nicer so it's gonna look like it's shutting down and then it's actually gonna shut down so what we can do is we can set a timeout and we can go ahead and open this up and then in here we can actually go ahead and set this timeout to like two seconds three seconds it doesn't really matter we'll do two seconds so that you can actually read the message and then all we have to do is do a wait interaction to edit reply and we're gonna say content and we can set that to nothing and then we can do embeds and we can actually set that to our embed variable. Now we can actually set this to an async empty function so we can run await just in case. And then after that, we can go ahead and do process.exit. So that's actually all we have to do for this entire command. So we can go ahead and save the file and reset the bot. And we can go ahead and test this out. All right, so over in our Discord server, we can actually go ahead and test this out. Now, while I can't show you the entire console, I can show you this much so you'll be able to see when it turns off and you'll also be able to see when I can no longer use commands. So we can just go ahead and run this command so we can go ahead and do shutdown. And as you can see, we have our command right here. So we can go ahead and send it. It's gonna say shutting down your bot. And then two seconds after, it's gonna go ahead and say your bot has been shut down. And as you can see, now the bot is off. As you can see, it has gone away. And if we try to run our test command on the tutorial bot, it is no longer going to work. So the bot is now off. So we can try this one more time. So we can go ahead and do a shut down. Once our bot turns on here, we can go ahead and send that. So now, as you can see, the bot is online. And now my bot has been shut down, as you can see here. And it is offline in the terminal over there. So we can go ahead and run our test command. And as you can see, it's not going to work. And pretty soon, the bot will actually shut off. All right. So one last thing that you could do is we can actually go ahead and pass in our client argument. And then right under where we actually go ahead and defer our reply. We can do await client.user.set status and then we can do invisible and then we can go ahead and actually turn on the bot and test this out. All right, so basically the reason why we're doing this is right now the bot is going to appear as online as its status for a good 30 seconds after the actual process gets exited. So what we could do is we can actually go ahead and set the status of it to invisible so it looks like it goes offline right away and then when it goes offline it we don't have to wait for it to go invisible on its own. So now that it's online we can go ahead and run shutdown and as you can see here it's going to say shutting down and it's already off it's already invisible and now it's going to say shut down so it does work now and the process now has been exited so that's a little extra thing that you could add to make this a little bit better if you would like so that's how you can make an advanced shutdown command for your discord.js version 14 bot if you need any help with this go ahead and join the server in the description below and we'll be happy to help you out and with that i'll see you guys in the next video